The UK is now importing so many random third world migrants. Councils are terrifying elderly couples, natives who have contributed to this country for decades. With compulsory purchase letters threatening to turf them out of their rightfully owned newly purchased homes to make way for single adult male asylum seekers from countries like Afghanistan, otherwise known as illegal immigrants. So this letter was from the council and yeah. you've got this on the 12th of January, you moved in in November, didn't you? Yeah. And, and, and you got this letter, and just, just spell out what this letter says. That letter says that they, because the property is derelict, that they can compulsory purchase it. If there's any repairs to be done in it, they could take it off the price of the property. Yeah. And these properties are for migrants. The house wasn't derelict, it wasn't empty, but this must be such a common tactic by councils. They're just firing off letters left, right and centre to see what sticks. Extraordinary, isn't it? And how did you feel when you got a letter? You moved into your new wonderful home, you settle down, law-abiding citizens, yeah. and you get a compulsory purchase order from the council accusing you of occupying a derelict home. How did you feel when you got this? After paying 200 thousand for it, we didn't feel very well. No, it must have been one hell of a shock, mustn't yeah. it? It was an awful shock. And when I got that, I felt sick. And when I went down, we went down to the council the day we got that letter after we read it. And the lady in there, she said, don't worry about it, it's just a standard letter. They moved to the house to be closer to their granddaughter so they could provide care. They hadn't even received the deeds yet. And within weeks, the government is intimidating them, coercing them to get out so they can hand it over to Abdul from Kabul. We have been so hollowed out as a nation, we've turned our backs entirely on the territorial integrity of this country to the point where it's become standard why to they, repossess houses. But why, why is this always that it's for the immigrant and not the indigenous population? The letter the Saunders received clearly states that the government is desperate to find homes to accommodate not families, but quote, mainly single men from countries like Afghanistan who are then given completely free housing, free healthcare, free benefits. While our own native homeless, including many veterans, are left to shiver on the streets with nothing. Veterans are sleeping rough. Yeah. 16,000 veterans. terrible are, weather. Absolutely. Um, they can't get put in hotels or on a bivvy stock home. There is a daylight um, charity, daylight centre charity in, in, in Wellingborough, which looks after homeless people who are sleeping rough. And they spend £630 per annum per head. Illegal migrants get paid £50,000. They get spent on them £50,000 per annum per head. And here we have the evidence of it in this letter. They wanted your lovely new home. Yeah. Un. Believable. How many more cases like this are out there? How many more vulnerable elderly people threatened with being kicked out their own homes? How many more mass community uprisings against army bases being turned into migrant camps? Tiny villages being deluged by gangs of fighting age men from destitute countries who transformed that previously nice environment into an extension of the shithole that they came from. No one wanted mass immigration, no one voted for it, no one was asked. And if they continue to inflict it on people with no political solution, to the problem. They're going to open up a Pandora's box, the likes of which the Western world has never seen. If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news.